Hi everybody, it's Claire with another project for Scrap Effects Design Team. So today I'm going to create a tag that's going to go into my junk journal craft kit and um, I'm starting off by using some of the Lace Bee Lagoon collage paper from Scrap Effects and I'm going to be adding that onto one of these uh, lace tags from the set, also from Scrap Effects. Um, so I'm going to stick these in place using a gel matte medium to start off with. So I'm just adding these on just to break up the background and add some colour. To get started, sometimes this can be a good uh, starting point for starting your page or tag, just to add some colour onto there can kind of get you going. So this is a really pretty paper, I love the colours in this and I kind of went with the same colours that were in the background and added some more colour onto the tag. So I'm adding turquoise to start off with, just using one of Dina Wakeley's brushes. Um, with a little bit of water in there too. Then I'm using Peacock as well. And then when that was dry, I used the um, circle border stencil with some white acrylic paint through that stencil. So just starting to add some pattern onto that background and break up those colours that I've added. Stencils are such a great way to add interest onto that background and um, just build up the pattern that you've got too. So this is the Nine Dots stamp and I'm using this with some stays on ink in a blue colour um, and just adding this in a couple of places. Um, don't forget if you use these stamps with acrylic paint you must clean, with any stamp really, you must clean it after otherwise it can affect how your stamp works. So again, I'm just using this um, Crazy Circle stamp. This is also from Scrap Effects with some green stays on, it's called Cactus Green um, stays on ink. So this is the tea and coffee transparency. Um, anyone that knows me really well knows that I drink a lot of tea. Uh, it's decaffeinated tea though, so um, it's not that bad for me, I guess. But um, I do like a cup of tea. It's a very English thing, isn't it? <laughs> so this was perfect for me, really. Um, I decided I would devote a couple of the projects this month for Scrap Effects to a good old cup of tea. So <laughs> this is the first one. I'm going to be sticking these pieces in place using some PVA glue. Um, just adding a little bit on the back. It dries clear so you can't see it once it's dry. So then where the quote's going to go, I'm just adding a little bit of white paint onto the background just to help it stand out a little bit because of all the pattern on the background, it was kind of disappearing. So once those are stuck in place, I kind of felt like I didn't, it needed something else. So I went for a contrast colour. So I'm using Permanent Red Violet Light from Amsterdam Acrylic and a blending tool just to put some colour onto that stamp. Stamping it onto the white uh, printer paper and then, um, oh I did clean the stamp off really well. Cutting them out. So I'm going to use these as kind of collage fodder on the tag um, and just to add a little bit more interest. And like I said, a contrast colour, a pop of colour against the blues that were on there. This is one of my favourite stamps I think from Scrap Effects. I love the different patterns and shapes um, that are in these circles. They work really well as a group and sort of cut up like this and used on their own. So then once I trimmed off the bits that were overlapping I then um, used a gel, a black gel pen and I think I outlined all the circles as well did some scribbly circles around the outside of those. Added some white marks with a Posca pen. I also um, cut out a bright pink um, heart and stuck it onto the teapot and then decided I was going to staple it to this tag. So my idea is to staple a tag either side and then still have space to stick one in the, in the little pocket in between. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing this month for Scrap Effects. So the first two projects this month you'll see the two tags and then you'll see the one that goes in the middle in between them. So I'm using the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to stick that tag in place and there we go. So there's the first project for Scrap Effects for the month of February. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this project and I will see you again very soon.